Hi there folks, good morning. It is Martha Fraser and this morning I'm going to be talking to you about Twitter. So are you using Twitter in your business? And if not, why not? So it depends really. The first thing you have to look at is again always going back to your audience. Who is your audience and are they using Twitter? And would I like my business to grow beyond my local community to a wider audience? And if so, does that odd wider audience use Twitter? So I found Twitter. Um, it's really this year that I've really started embracing Twitter. And um, before that, I was on Facebook until um, I went to uh, the Web Summit in 2012, which is three years ago. But it's really only this year I've really started actively using it. And at the Web Summit, everybody was um, using Twitter and they were um, using the hashtag. So I'm going to show you, explain to you in a minute. So, for example, um, you can see in I put up a post here advertising has us chasing cars and clothes working jobs we hate so we can buy shit we don't need it's just a quote from Fight Club so after that I put in two hashtags um simple living and hashtag entrepreneur so what does that hashtag mean so if I come up here to the search bar and if I put in um hashtag entrepreneur select it there so everything that everyone who puts a post and includes the hashtag entrepreneur is going to come up in this search. So basically I will come up. There should be a post there from me somewhere because I actually use it a lot in my posts. Um, it just shows the amount of people who are using that hashtag. And um, you can get more specific. So let's say I put in hashtag entrepreneur, hashtag social media. So any entrepreneur looking for social media would um, grab that post. And um, so like you can see here, the Skull Enterprises, Great Morning Female Founders in Galway. Um, so let's just have a look for this. Uh, when was this? That was October 6th, which was yesterday. So um, we could go on to their post here. Let's go on to this. I just kind of want to show you. So, um, so yes, yeah, so the, the startup weekend is this weekend. So you can come on there and go, oh, yeah, that's a lot of entrepreneur stuff that I'd be interested in. So, um, you know, it's basically, um, it's great. You know, it's really, really great. Um, okay, so then, so that's me got looking into that page. So let's just go back to our list, hopefully, yeah. So I'm coming back here now and see, oh look, there I am. So, hi folks, on Blab for a clarity session this evening, watch the replay here. And I have hashtag online, hashtag entrepreneur. So I have come up in the sequence of the entrepreneur search. So isn't that fantastic? So let's just say you have weight loss or something like that. And if someone puts in weight loss and if you post with the hashtag weight loss, you are going to come up in the search. So um, I really need to be putting up more tweets because I'm not coming up enough. You can see that um, there's a couple of regular people coming up there. So let's just go back to our Twitter profile. And I'll do a tour shortly now. So let's do a quick tour of of Twitter. Now, this is the, the desktop Twitter and the mobile is slightly different. So I may have to do something on the mobile as well. So up here you have your home. So we click on home. And that brings me the news feed of everybody that um, I'm following. Okay. So, and it also shows me over here to the left who what's trending. So what hashtag is trending? So let's say, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm putting in Galway here. So the HI service and Irish water, Digicel. Um, so let's change this to Ireland. And let's see what's trending in Ireland. Okay, so now I've changed it to Ireland and actually fairly much the same things are trending here. So let's do New York. New York. 
and let's see what's trending over there. So again, where is your audience? Would you like to focus on different um, countries, different weeks or different posts? You know, so you might do bad inventions trending or mash drudge, whatever that is, opening ceremony, um, you know, so you know, have an interest in where your audience is. So basically, if you check here of what is trending and if you include that hashtag in your post, presuming your post is relevant to that hashtag, then you will come up in the search of that hashtag. Therefore, you will be seen by an even wider audience. So it's very, very powerful. So, um, so that is your home, okay? Then we go on to notifications. And notifications are just basically anyone who has um, <coughs> tagged me um, in their posts um, or any kind of notifications, anyone who's favorite, so favorited one of my posts. Um, so basically a favorite is, see this little star here, if someone, so basically this person sent me, tagged me in a message and I just click the star to favorite. So favorite is the same in Facebook, it's like a thumbs up. And um, this here is a retweet. So if I wanted to retweet this, I could just select this here um, and just retweet it to my to my um, to my uh, wall, if you want to call it that, or to my profile. And then other people will see this um, tweet that I was mentioned in. Um, anyone who follows me will see that tweet that I was mentioned in or I could just reply to that message and I've actually already replied so I'm not going to reply again. I could include a photo and um, once I start writing then the all tweets must be under 140 characters so you learn very quickly how to um, say what you want to say in a limited amount of time. So that's the notifications, okay? Then we move on here to messages. So messages are just basically private messages. Um, now, what I find is that most people have this um, automatic thing turned on um, and they you get these automatic messages back. So to be honest, I just don't really read a lot of them because so many of them come in. And then the problem then is that when you do get actually a real message, you you miss it sometimes, you know. So um, so that's messages. And then um, this is your search bar here. So you can search for people. So I can search for, uh, gosh, I don't know the name tag of anyone off the top of my heart. Let um, me see. I could do one, Betty Miller. Let I just see her name there. So if you're looking for someone, I don't know who this lady is, but uh, we're just going to look her up. Uh, she's an entrepreneur, so I could follow her then if I wanted to. Um, so let's just go back to home again. So you can search your hashtags. You can search for people. I could search for Richard Branson. I know him, <laughs> Richard Branson. So let's see what comes up in my search for that. So here is Richard Branson. Happiness is like a kiss. You must share it to enjoy it. Oh, that's sweet. So then I can just come under here and his info will pop down. So I'm actually already following Richard Branson. So no need to follow him again. So I could easily just follow him there, which is fantastic. And I get a quick snapshot as to who he is and what he does. Um, and look, actually, I'm not following him there. He must have two different. Um... Okay, so in this following... He's got 6.62 million followers here, Richard Branson. And down here, actually, I'd say this probably isn't actually him. Uh, 102,000. Hmm, not too sure why there's two accounts going on there. So you'll find that with a lot of, I guess, celebrities and top people. So that's Richard Branson, which, um, well, I admire anyway. So that's the search bar. Then here you have your profile and settings. So if I click on the profile, it's going to come to my own profile and everything that um, I share and tweet and retweet. So what you have here is you have across here, you've got your tweeter, tweeter, Twitter header. OK, and how I made this was in Canva. So when you go into Canva, you select the Twitter header and you just create it then okay 
And then over here, I have um, your description of who you are. Definitely a good idea to include. So I've included a link here to some free training. I've included my other Twitter account, Amazingly Mums. And I've also included my website. And then it's a little summary of the photos I've shared. And then here you can see, so a tweets, I have 1,402 tweets. Following, um, I'm following 1,563 people and 878 is following me. So I'm beginning to build this. I really have to put in some more work now and really try and get this number up. And um, I heard recently, actually, which I didn't know, that you have to follow 2,000 people before more than 2,000 can follow you. Now, I need to confirm that. I'm not sure that that's 100% true because I've seen I've seen people who have like thousands and thousands of followers and they're not actually following that many. So favorites, I favored um, uh, 495 posts and I've got two lists. So what are my two lists? Let's go in and look. I haven't looked at these in a while. So Mumtastic and uh, News. So you can create a list of like... Um, leading thought leaders that you follow or social media or quotes and motivation um you know anything like that so you also can click the following um who am i following and come in here and like a really good idea well okay it's not, perhaps not a really good idea but a little bit of a cheat idea is let's say you follow somebody um in your area um let's see if there's someone um that I follow that is like if I go to like this lady let's say uh, Hannah Davis right she has a big following I think I think she has anyway no she doesn't actually okay well let's just say I go to her and I can say right um who is she following so she's probably following thought leaders in her field so I can just go follow 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 so instead of me having to go look for all these amazing people, she's already following them. So I can just follow, you know, other super people as well. Um, now, there is definitely a limit. I have done this before and I got burnt. There is a limit on the number of people you can follow in a day because Twitter thinks you are a tweet bot who is abusing the system and then they kind of block you for a day or two. So, you know, don't abuse it, just, um, just use it. Um, so yeah, so there's some great people here that I might follow. So I'm just going to leave it at that for now, but you get the idea. That's something you can do. Um, so I could go to her followers as well. Um, that's another thing you could do, you know, who's following her. Um, and, if they're a similar community to you, um, then, you know, you could follow them too if you wanted to. Um, but I don't know if I'm really in alignment with doing that, um, you know, because <coughs> you want pe the right people to follow you for you. So, <coughs> excuse me. So then you can look at her two lists. Um, and uh, so she has fitness professionals, right? She's got 20 people there. So these if it's a list that's um something that you would like to um use as well then you can subscribe to her list to get updates from her list and you can list the members uh let's list the members here so these are the members so all you have to do then is come in and follow them and um you know i think it's it's such a handy way of doing that you know um so, um, so basically, if you subscribe to her fitness professionals list, then you would get um, you get all these updates that were important to you. So let's go back to I'm going to go back to my profile here now again, and um, so that's the top stats there. And then over here, I can click Edit Profile, and this will allow me to change my banner photo, change my profile photo. It'll allow me to change the details over here to the left. So I can change my display name. Now, I'm not 100% sure if you can change your handle. Um, so your your handle might be, like if, for example, you have a handle that is a business name, 
you could possibly put your own personal name up here if that's what you want to display it. So in here, um, it's really important that you get across that you're a real person, what you do, um, any links to how people can sign up with you. Um, your website, definitely very important to put in. Uh, your team color. Um, I might change that to purple, actually. Um, and uh, maybe blue. I'll go back to purple. So, um, yes, yeah, so you can change that and then you come back over here and save your changes. Now, like Facebook, um, you know, your Twitter header is banner space for, you know, if I'm doing a blab, for example, and someone hovers over me and my, um, my cover photo from my Twitter account pops up and if they say, oh, wow, three, free three hour workshop, how to create your first event program. Yeah, I'd love to kind of get that th free three-hour program. And then they come over here and I click on this link to get the free training. So straight away, I have um, something to give somebody, you know, and um, they might be interested in that. So, um, so that is how you use that advertising space, you know. Then after that, okay, so then what is the average number of tweets that someone will do a day? So... I think you definitely need to be tweeting three times a day and there is nothing wrong with tweeting the same thing um, more than once a day because you have a different audience um, in the morning and the evening and throughout because the Twitter role of conversation is moving so fast that, um, you know, you will never see the same thing twice, you know, and um, you won't be there long enough to, um, to do that. So I would really... Um, yeah, post um, three times a day minimum and uh, you could definitely post more than that if you wanted to. And um, like I often have some blog posts that I recirculate. I might put them up one week, I'll put them up another three weeks later. So continuously getting people um, on the routes back to your website, back to your content, um, you know, and giving value and actually you know, see your, see your Twitter posts as like a conversation. Hi guys, how are you today? And oh gosh, you know, this has happened to me today. And actually, you know, put some real stuff out there that actually happened to you so people can begin to connect you as a real person and what you do, you know. Um, so as I said, I'm still building this myself. I use, just have it here now, I use Buffer. So I'm just going to come over here for a minute. I use Buffer um, to post to my groups and Twitter. So I can put something here, select all the different um, platforms that I want to post something to. And a presto, it's gone to um, Twitter and Facebook and my groups and whatever else I want it to be gone to. So that is, so that's my tweets. There's um, my tweets and my replies. And then I can just quickly look at my photos and my videos. So definitely, definitely photos are massively captivating in Twitter. Um, you know, bright colors that stand out. You know, that yellow is very captivating. Um, and video is definitely a way to go. Um, it really, really helps um, with getting getting across what you're trying to um, convey. And it, makes, it helps people to connect to you. So um, what I would say to you is that, you know, if you are some people, I used to do this when I first started, I was using Facebook and I had my Facebook connected to my Twitter account. And what you will find is that people on Twitter, um, if you have a big uh, post on Facebook, it'll go over the length of characters on Twitter. So they'll, they'll, um, they'll cut it and they'll append a link back to Facebook. And most people who use Twitter, they don't want to hit that link. They, they don't actually want to get out of Twitter. So try and post your posts individually to Twitter and individually to Facebook. And you can do that using an app like Buffer that I just showed you. Um, and um, yeah, you know, try and be captivating with your photos and videos and uh, provide value like all social media platforms provide value and interact with your audience so that is a brief tour of twitter um i hope it has helped 
um, you know, make, go through your, your niche and your audience and make a list of the key words that are important to your audience and they will then become your hashtag. So your hashtag is the topic of conversation that people are searching for on Twitter. And, um, like there's other things like, um, people start, uh, I know, um, Samantha Kelly, who is the tweeting, sorry, um, who is the tweeting goddess of Twitter. Um, she, here we go. Sorry, back here again. She, um, <clears throat> she has Irish biz party, Irish, the Az party. Um, that's a very well known hashtag in Ireland. So basically, um, and I think she runs conferences as well. So, um, you can on a Wednesday night, I'm not a hundred percent sure I had joined it before, but I haven't joined it in a while. Um, so if you do a search for a hashtag Irish business party, I think it's on a Wednesday night they do. So basically they get together on a Wednesday night, nine to 11. So you can also have hashtag parties where basically you are, uh, twittering for like an hour on a night with your community and inviting your community to join in on the conversation by using the hashtag that you select. So she created this hashtag Irish biz party. So you don't have to go anywhere to select or create um, a hashtag. You literally just, um, so if I'm going to go back here, I'm going to say, um, create a tweet by clicking this button here. And I will say, Hey everyone. Um, and I can create a hashtag by say learning together. I spelled it right. So that is me creating my own individual hashtag. Um, so if you, in your business, you may want to have one hashtag that you use all the time at the end of your business. Um, something like a tagline that you're creating yourself. So, um, yeah, so that's it there. And the other thing that I wanted to cover as well is um, if you come in here to lists, I'm not sure if I showed you this already, you can um, create a new list and you can start adding um, thought leaders um, to a list. So like you might have, I'm going to create a new list of, um, let me see, thought leaders in self-development. Okay, lovely. I'm gonna you can make it public or private. I'm gonna make it a uh, public. Or yeah, I'm gonna make it public. So I'll save the list there. Shin A. I think that's done. Um I don't see just refresh my screen. Okay, I don't see it there. I'll try it again. Self development thought leaders those who inspire me okay public save the list hmm doesn't seem to be saving is that private public save the list okay let's see if um <clears throat> So I'm a member of, actually, this is interesting, isn't it? Um, so subscribed to is people who I have um, put in my list. Um, and then I am a member of, people have added me to an entrepreneur list, a blabbers list, Galway list, um, Irish biz party, entrepreneurs. So I've been added to a good few groups, actually, which is quite flattering. And... Um, yeah, so that's interesting, isn't it? So that's your list. And I don't know why it hasn't actually created my list, that list there. Let me see now. So if I go back down here to lists, let's see if it has refreshed it. It's typical when you're doing a video, that <laughs> things don't go the way you want. So uh, let's just go back to this. Hmm. Let me add in here, I love um, Gabby Bernstein. She is just amazing. 
there be Bernstein thought she and sure and let's go to her so um I had her move from this so I might add her okay it didn't create my new list okay create a list self-development thought leaders it doesn't see. I wonder have I gone over. I'm just going to make it thought leaders. Okay, maybe it was too long. Aha. For some reason, it didn't like. So I'm going to select thought leaders. I'm going to put her in there. And um, that should be her in there, I think. Okay, <clears throat> so. When I went to Gabby there, I just went to the settings and um, I can tweet to Gabby. So if I do that, it will put her at the start uh, of the tweet. So she will get uh, info. Um, I can block a report. I can turn off retweets, turn on mobile notifications, embed this profile. Hmm, not 100% sure what embed profile is. So I can follow her. I can check out her list. I can see what she does. I can go to her website. I can... Um, Look at her followers. I can go look at her photos, and I can go read her stuff and watch her videos. Um, she is an amazing person. So, um, let's go back over here now to my um, own Twitter. So, help um, Twitter ads. So, Twitter ads. I actually only really started using Twitter ads recently. I haven't used them a whole pile. I think you can do so much with uh, content on Twitter. Um, I haven't got into using Twitter ads yet, but you can go in here to Twitter ads um, if you want to, and you can have a look. I did try, I think, one or two ads, um, and then you can go to analytics. So let's go to analytics. So um, this is something I need to come in more to myself. I do it with Facebook, um, but I have not actually been coming that much into Twitter analytics. So... As I begin to grow my own Twitter account, um, and you will be doing the same, it's important to know your stats and what's working, what's not working. So, um, so I'm up. So I'm eight point four percent more tweets, and uh, my tweet impressions are actually down um, by five point eight percent. And my profile visits is up by 39.9%. So I'm improving. I'm getting there. Okay. And I've got 72 mentions um, over the last 28 days. And I'm up 14.3%. So that's great. So you really want to grow these figures. You want to be mentioned. You want to be talked about. And I am up 85 followers in the last 28 days. So it's not bad. Need to put a bit more work into it. Um, but at least the numbers are going up in the right direction. So my top tweet um, was time is our greatest asset. We all have that same amount of how do you use yours, entrepreneur and mum. And I think that was a photo. So I got one favorite. I got one um, retweet and I got one reply. So um, not bad. You know, I need to. Um, the top mention was from uh, this guy here, Nathan Jones. And in October, so my summary so far is I have five tweets, uh, 74 profile visits and six new followers. So um, the profile visits I have had, I've been starting using Blab. So people are, I think, checking me out when when you're on Blab, people can easily go on to your Twitter account. So that's good. And um Yes, yeah, so I got three mentions, six new followers. Again, the stats, you know, I really need to get those stats up and get more going. Um, so my top follower, um, who is followed by, wow, he's followed by 95.1 thousand people. And that is Ed Perez, seeking learning and understanding. I love connecting with people and also looking at ways to elevate themselves mentally and financially. Um, that's fantastic. So I could view his followers, view his profile. And I haven't used Twitter cards yet. I might do that in another video. Using Twitter cards gives you greater insight into your URL clicks, app installs and retweets. So we'll do that in another video because I haven't done it yet and I need to bring you that information. Um, so view uh, the top media tweet is um, this one here. And that got three favorites. So that earned 45 impressions. 
And let's look down here. So then there's September. Okay, so they're doing it in monthly. Uh, monthly. So it's the same thing again. Um, wow, I actually did a lot better in September. I was a lot more active. So I guess we're only into October. We're only seven days in. Um, so I need to get my stats up and um, and uh, do that. So... Um, it's interesting, isn't it, going back, looking at your stats and seeing how you're doing. Um, so, you know, if there's something on, you know, what can you what can you do? How can you raise awareness? How can you connect with what's going You know, is there a match on the telly? Is there like a soap um, that your audience watches that you can comment on or join in the conversation? It's really about really getting into the conversation as much as possible. So um, let's go back here to my profile. And so that was the insights. Hang on a second. And um, that was the analytics going into, I think we're in settings here now. So then you can come into settings. Yeah, I think we're here anyway. So, um, and you can change... Well, you can possibly actually change your username. Okay, I wasn't aware that you could do that. I thought that was locked in. So I think you can change that. Um, come into your content. Um, you can change different settings there. Your country, video, autoplay. I might actually turn that off now to make sure I save on my um, my Wi-Fi and I don't want things played. Um, so your Twitter archive, if you want your Twitter archive, which might be useful, you could put that to use maybe on your blog or if you're writing a book or anything like that, you can deactivate your account, which I'm not going to do. Um, so security and privacy, um, you know, just go through all of these, check your, check your settings, um, cards and shipping. And um, I haven't done any of that yet. Mobile. Um, I haven't added my mobile yet. Um, email notifications. I am um, my tweets are marked as favorites, so I've got those off because I don't really want to be getting activity from updates from by the performance of my tweets. No thanks. I don't want emails, and I don't want any notifications. So I'm just gonna make sure I save that, and. Um, web notifications um activity related to you and your tweets notifying when my tweets are retweeted no i don't want actually no okay i do want notifications on twitter but i just don't want emails so that's fine okay and um find friends so you can um connect through your gmail again if you're starting off at the start very good to do this um and try and connect with as many people as possible and even if they're not in your audience some of their friends may be in your audience and if they're a friend of yours they might share your tweet and it might get to somebody who is your audience um muted account blocked account so you know if you need to um go into people who are um not following that you don't want to follow you anymore or that have somehow um <clears throat> you didn't like what they were doing um just just you know block them um so you can change the app and the background um the widgets i have no widgets yet um this I haven't played with that part yet and my twitter data um okay so i'm not going to go into, into this because i think that's uh yeah we don't need to go into that so that is a really good um keyboard shortcuts well, like you can go in and learn some shortcuts to get using twitter faster so this is a really good just summary of twitter and how it can help promote in your business so again you know look at the times of when your audience same kind of rules apply with facebook when is your audience on twitter when should you post get into scheduling get um you know what does your audience want to hear from you on twitter about so um and how can you you know, reach out to some people who are who are have a lot of followers and do what you do. So I hope this video has helped. I will do another one um, if you have any questions on Twitter. And, you know, just get tweeting, use your hashtags and 
like if you go to someone who has a lot of followers so let's go to um let's go to ooh who shall we go to um oprah so um so Oprah Winfrey, let's look at her. So she has 29.2 million followers. So she has 10,000.6 tweets. Um, so when you look at, now obviously Oprah is extremely popular for more reasons, but okay, she's got video. She's, that's probably another video, video, um, text, 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 text. Um, another video there, video, video, video. So you can see how she is getting her message across. So look at someone who is in your um, area. How are they doing it? Um, you know, fix my life. Isn't that a great hashtag? I love that. Fix my life. Believe stories. And, um, you know, look at the hashtags that people are using because you'll then find the hashtags that other, other people are looking up. So join conversations, become, you know, go on to like um, Operation Transformation, Operation Transformation. Let's say if you're doing weight loss, um, okay, maybe they don't have a Twitter account. Hmm. Okay, so like the biggest loser. So let's see what comes up for that. Um, wow. So um, you could, let's say, I'm looking for like a TV program or something like that. That is using the hashtag where you can basically join in. Let's say the TV program puts up a tweet and then you can tweet or comment below it. So you're joining in in the conversation where your audience is hanging out online. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video and I will be bringing more to you um, very, very soon. So let me know if this has helped you and I'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye now.